Hey, what's going on people? Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best Intel HD graphics settings to improve your gaming and quality and performance in your laptop or your desktop. Doesn't really matter. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, first things first is the essential Windows settings. And this is a really important part. You don't want to skip it. So first of all, you have to open up your settings section and then in your settings, search for storage sense. Click on turn on storage sense and over here, make sure the storage sense is enabled. Click on it and you should copy the exact same settings and then click on run storage sense now. This will clean up your temporary files on the computer every now and then so you don't have to manually go and delete everything. And this will help your windows to be optimized. Then you would always want to go under the windows update section. In there you want to go into advanced options and then click on delivery optimization and make sure that this is turned off. This is really good for your computer's performance so I would recommend you guys to turn it off. Step number two is the windows update. Now over here you would always want your windows to be up to date no matter what. Windows regularly fixes their bugs and that's why windows updates are really important. So in the windows update section if you see any pending updates available make sure to install all of them let's move to step number three that is the best power plan power plan plays a really important role if you are on your desktop or your laptop for that you have to open up your control panel and then go into the power options if you don't find it you can simply search over here for the power options so if you're on a computer i would recommend you guys to select high performance as it will use more energy it will draw more energy to get your resources up and running so with the high performance power plan you will be able to get better experience and better performance however if you're on a laptop i would always recommend you guys to go with balance the only reason being is on the laptop you would always want your laptop to be plugged into the power supply that is not good for your battery not for your laptop's battery life also on a laptop that will result in overheating issues and high fan speed so i would always recommend you guys to go with balanced let's move to step number four that is creating a restore point and this is really important for that you have to search for create a restore point on your desktop and once this pops up you have to look for your local disk c or any drive it says system click on configure and make sure that turn on system protection is enabled then click on create and name it intel hd or something that you can remember and simply click on create this is a really important step and i would always recommend you guys not to skip it in case anything happens to your computer you do not have to freshly install your windows once again you will have a backup once it is done you can simply click on close and close system properties step number five is the intel hd optimization pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you can go and safely download it from there once you have downloaded and extracted this pack up you will find in four registry files as well as the intel cpu priority now this registry pack focuses deeply on your processor and your processor components so you have to make sure to run all four of these registries that will optimize your system to get much better performance everything over here does the thing that it is named after and if you are wondering what these files changes you can simply right click go to open with and select notepad and you can see the settings that it is going to change on your computer once you're done with that you have to run all four of them you can simply double click to run them and then you have to go into the intel cpu priority folder and then run the intel priority dot registry and that will prioritize your cpu to use maximum resources as well as core parking step number six is the best intel hd graphics settings now for that right click on your desktop and go to graphics settings let it open up now in here first thing you have to do is go to display and then copy the same settings over here open up display and in here you'll find your resolution make sure to set it to your base resolution of your monitor and then set it refresh it to highest possible down below you'll find your scaling click on maintain display scaling then go to color settings 
and over here go to advanced and make sure to select your saturation and drag it to somewhere between 35 to 40 just to make your screen look a little bit more vibrant click on apply and then click on yes now go back and then click on the 3d button over here this panel is the most important one make sure to click on optimal mode enabled and then for the general settings click on performance then click on apply and then save it then go over to the profiles over here and then for profiles make sure to select all of them then go over to the power settings over here and then make sure to select maximum performance over here and then on battery make sure to click maximum performance over here as well also disable power saving technology make sure to turn this thing on and then click on apply and then save it then go over to the video section over here for standard color correction go with application settings and then for the input range go for application settings as well click on apply then you can close intel hd graphics section so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below we are really close to 110,000 subscribers i really appreciate your support we'll see you guys in another brand new video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear fox and peace out